What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the aftermath of Jordan Peterson's comment on men and women working together. Now, if you remember, about a month ago Jordan Peterson did an interview with Vice. And somewhere in the interview the question came up, and I believe Jordan Peterson posed the question, I'm going to play the clip here in a second, but he posed the question, can men and women actually work together? Now, of course, the Vice News person that Jordan Peterson was with at the time said yes. He said that he's been working with women his entire career and that yes, of course, that of course they can work together. Now, if you go and ask anyone you know, if you go and ask your girlfriend, your mom, your dad, one of your friends, and you ask them that same question, can men and women work together? The answer they're going to give you is yes. Most people are always going to give you that answer. But Jordan Peterson is one step ahead of the game. And this is where people, I think, are getting him wrong. Jordan Peterson is not asking that question in a way in which he's trying to say or or infer that men and women are incompatible, right? He's not really saying that. He could be subliminal, subliminally, but that's not the heart of his question. What he is trying to get at is that in the light of the hashtag MeToo era, and all of the sexual assault allegations that we have seen come out of Hollywood and these big corporations. Jordan Peterson is asking the question that because of all these things going on, do you really think that it is a good idea for men and women to work together? Anyways, here is the video clip of Jordan Peterson. There isn't a, there isn't a question. There's a set of questions and no one's posing them. Here's a question. Can men and women work together in the workplace? Yes, I, how do, I you do it. How do you know? Because I work with a, a lot of women. Right. Well, it's been happening for, what, 40 years? And, and things are deteriorating very rapidly at the moment in terms of the relationships between men and women. And you Is there sexual women? harassment in the workplace? Yes. Should it stop? That'd be good. Will it? Well, not at the moment it won't because we don't know what the rules are. Do you think men and women can work in the workplace together? I don't know. Without sexual harassment? We'll see. We'll see. How many years will it take for men and women working in the workplace together? More than 40. To get a sense. We don't know what the rules are. Like, what? here's a rule. Don't, don't How about you... no makeup in the workplace? Why would that be a rule? <laughs> Why should you wear makeup in the workplace? Uh, Isn't that sexually provocative? No. It's not? No. Well, what is it then? What's the purpose of makeup? Some people would like to just put on makeup. Why? To, 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 I don't know why Why do you make on... your lips red? Because they turn red during sexual arousal. That's why. Why do you put rouge on your cheeks? Same reason. I mean, look. How about high heels? What, what are mean, they What for? about high heels? What about them? They're there to exaggerate sexual attractiveness. That's what high heels do. Now, I'm not saying that people shouldn't use sexual displays in the workplace. I'm not saying that. But I am saying that that is what they're doing. And that is what they're doing. If, if, do you feel like a serious woman who does not want sexual harassment in the workplace do you feel like if she wears makeup in the workplace that she is somewhat being critical? Yeah. Okay. I do think that. So naturally, after Jordan Peterson said this, and after the interview was released by Vice, there was an insane backlash on the internet. People went absolutely crazy. People were accusing Jordan Peterson of extreme sexism, of aligning himself with the alt-right, of all, cr all crazy types of accusations were levied against Jordan Peterson simply because he said that in light of the hashtag MeToo movement, it might not be actually a good idea for men and women to work together any longer. Now, it seems that there is finally an example of why Jordan Peterson's comments seem visionary or seem futuristic because it looks like Netflix is now implementing what Jordan Peterson was hinting at. Now, what Netflix is doing really does not come as any surprise to me and it shouldn't come to any surprise to anybody because as we know, Netflix is deeply involved in the whole Hollywood industry and the whole celebrity industry. So the obvious approach of Netflix would be to be as politically correct and as social justice warrior-ish as possible. And this is reflected in Netflix, Netflix's new employee training program. According to Sun News in the UK, which broke this story, Netflix has added a number of new guidelines that it wants its employees to adhere to. Here is the list of a few of them. Shout, stop, don't do that again if a colleague has been inappropriate. Don't give lingering hugs or touch anyone for a lengthy period of time. Don't ask out a colleague more than once if they have said no. Steer clear of a colleague once they have said they are not interested in you. Don't ask for a colleague's phone number. Report a colleague who has given anyone unwanted attention. Don't flirt. Don't look at anyone for longer than five seconds. Now, if I'm being honest, some of these on here do kind of make some sense. 
Like number two, don't give lingering hugs or touch anyone for a lengthy period of time. Uh, number three, don't ask out a colleague more more than once if they have said no. You know, those kind of seem like basic things that people really do anyways. But the real problem comes with things like number six and number eight when they say, report a colleague who has given anyone unwanted attention. And number eight, don't look at anyone for longer than five seconds. Now, with the one where it says report somebody if they've given unwanted attention, what is the requ- what is the criteria for unwanted attention? Obviously, this has to be hashed out. And maybe if you just look at somebody the wrong way, you can be reported to HR and get fired from your job. I don't know what their criteria is going to be, but obviously that has to be figured out pretty soon. And number eight, don't look at anyone for longer than five seconds. How do you have a conversation? If you can't look at anyone for longer than five seconds, what are you going to do at work? Are you just going to go there and sit in your cubicle the entire day and stare at your computer? Like, it seems that they don't even want human interaction at all. But the main point that I want to get here is what Jordan Peterson said and what was lambasted by the media as these deeply sexist and critical remarks about men and women not being able to work together. Well, it seems that one of Hollywood's little gems here, Netflix, is implementing what Jordan Peterson was inferring. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this story. I will see you in the next one.